Our chief guests and other dignitaries 
are the Vice Principal Srimadhi Sindhu K and Assistant Vice Principal Srimadhi Indu S. Let us welcome them with a loud round of applause. May I request the dignitaries to be seated in the front row. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. On this martyr's day, it reminds me of the words of the father of our nation, our dear Papuji. Celebrations inspire people to come together towards a common vision, ignite their purpose and potential, recognize achievements, and appreciate their efforts. Respected dignitaries, dear parents, well-wishers, staff, and students, Namaste and a pleasant good morning to one and all present here. We welcome you to the 47th Just as the lamp enlightens the surroundings, may this awareness shine upon us. With the lighting of this lamp, may darkness be replaced by light, ignorance by knowledge, and sorrow by happiness. Like the lamp spreads light, let us spread love and kindness wherever we go. Let's come at this function with an invocation seeking the blessings of God Almighty. I invite the school choir to I request everyone to remain seated. Yeah. 
essential to commence this glorious day of magnificence and festivity. May I now invite Srimadhi Anjana Varma, Coordinator, Primary Section, Havans Vidya Mandir Dhirnagar, to welcome the gathering. Namaste and warm good morning to one and all present here. Today, as we celebrate our 47th annual day, let us remember that each child comes with a message that needs to be heard, that needs to be understood, that needs to be loved. Here at Bhavan's Vidya Mandir Vidinaga, we strive to create a space where every message is heard, every dream nurtured, and every child empowered to become the architect of their own destiny. On this auspicious occasion, I deem it my proud privilege to formally welcome the gathering. We are the Indian School of Management Studies and in Engineering and Management with a recent university rank from Government Engineering College, MTech and PhD degrees from IIT Kharagpur, in Industrial Engineering and Management with experience in academics, industry and consulting. He is the chairman of Kerala chapter of Indian Institution of Industrial Engineering. He has served as a member of school board and planning committee of Indian Maritime University Chennai and member of the governing board of Center for Management Development, Shivadram. He is also a consultant and trainer for many persons have added a special grace and dignity to this occasion. On behalf of entire Bhavan's Irinaga fraternity, let me extend a cordial welcome to you, With immense pleasure, I welcome Srimadhi Sunita S, Academic Supervisor, BBD Kochi Kendra, to this August gathering. Happy welcome to you, dear ma'am. Let me extend my gracious welcome to Srimadhi Jai Sri Suresh, teacher in charge, Bhavan's Balamandir, Balamandir Township Palace. We are delighted to have you with you with us, ma'am. Let me extend a warm welcome to Sri Anand Ayla, Vice President PTA, Bhavan Siddhyamandir Dhinata. Happy welcome to you, sir. Let me extend a warm welcome to a very vibrant and inspiring leader, our beloved principal, Sri Sri Jodi L. Ma'am, your tireless effort and dedication has created a nurturing environment where each student can flourish and discover their unique talents. I welcome you, ma'am. With great happiness, let me extend a gracious welcome to our beloved Vice Principal, Sri Madhi Sindhu K. And assisted by Principal Timothy Hindu L. Your constant guidance and encouragement have helped us to achieve excellence in all our endeavors. I cordially welcome you both to this event. I acknowledge the valuable presence of all dignitaries, proud parents, teaching faculty, not teaching staff, well wishers, and my dear students to this grand event. Hearty welcome to you all. Thank you. At Havanski Nagar, invigorating with a plethora of activities and experiences, each giving scope to learn, question, to reflect, and introspect. May I now invite Srimadhi Jai Sri Sudesh, teacher in charge, Havans Balamandi, Township Palace, to present the annual report of kindergarten. Ma'am, please. Our distinguished chief is Professor Dr. Embasi, Srimadhi Sunita as Academic Supervisor, Thardi Vidya Kuchi Kesha, Sri Anand Aya, Vice President, PTA Bhavans Vidya Mandir Girinaga, our Principal Srimadhi Sri Jodi N, Vice Principal Srimadhi Sindhu K, students and relatives. Namaste and a very good morning to all. It's my proud privilege to present before you the annual report of Bhavans Bala Mandir Township Palace for the year 
the Academy of Bhavan's Parliament commenced on 7th June 2023. PKG classes began on the 8th of June. We have great pleasure and are indeed very happy to share with you regarding the inauguration of our splendid new auditorium in the exquisite Kutamilam style, which is very spacious and done with beautiful architecture. The teacher in charge interacted with the parents regarding academics and other activities before the commencement of the classes. 217 students under the constant care of 15 teachers follow the curriculum that ensures their all-around development. Our curriculum is in line with the new national education policy 2020, which is founded on five guiding pillars, multi-level and play-based. Importance is given to recognizing identifying and fostering the unique capabilities of each student thereby attaining holistic development in both academic and non-academic spheres. Pre-KG being the first experience for many children in a structured setting helps to foster a positive association with learning. Focus is given to developing life skills such as communication, cooperation, teamwork and resilience. Children are prepared to meet diverse national and global challenges of the present and the future. Our school begins with a prayer where all students and teachers participate. Following the prayer, we have Gita chanting, exercise, birthday celebration, group song session, and national anthem. Students are encouraged to give short speeches in the assembly to enhance their confidence and communication skills. In our school, more importance is given to oral work than written work. We focus on oral work where we bring in multilingual rhymes, language, numbers, counting, puzzles, games to develop logical thinking, drawing, painting, art and craft, puppetry, music and movement. Special attention is given to the students who have difficulties in coping with the normal class. The source room facility is available for the students who need support. There is no formal examination. Promotion to higher classes is based on the overall performance of the child throughout the academic year. We celebrated Jamaina Week, World Environment Day, Independence Day, Republic Day, Onam, Sri Krishna Jayanti, Navratri, Diwali, Guru Purnima, Teachers' Day, International Yoga Day, Children's Day, and Christmas, to name a few. Our Tiny Tots presented a program, Nubara Twani, during Navratri, and was appreciated by all. Children's Day was celebrated with much enthusiasm. Our Children's Day stands unique as UKG children conducted the formal meeting. All students performed on stage, and books were distributed as gifts. Sports are an integral part of the education of a child. We have educational sports which focuses on improving the health and fitness of children, improving their concentration level, improving their social-emotional skills. Ochar 2023, Kids Pangama was conducted by Hardi Vidyabhan in collaboration with Sports Village at BBM Tiguangkula. This event was well received and supported by the parent community and we had active participation from schools across the country. We hope to conduct events of this magnitude and grandeur in future also. After each term, parent-teacher interactions are conducted and report cards distributed. The convocation ceremony for UKG students will be held in March. As part of incorporating technology in the early years of learning, Teachers make use of interactive boards to inculcate and enhance the learning process. Faculty improvement programs, both online and offline, were attended by our teachers. To name a few, toy making and storytelling by Anganwadi teachers Tevekil, motivational talk, good to better, better to best, was conducted by Mr. Suraj April, learning in young children post-pandemic at Alamein Public School at Abdi. Teachers attended the workshop Mela at Vidyodaya School Therapy. Our school actively participated in inter-school cultural and art competitions conducted by various schools across the city. We had a bunch of children who showcased their talents and skills, representing our school with enthusiasm and dedication. 
Asmi Ubadi of UKG and Vasudha Pramod of PKG received medal from CIEDR National Level Drawing Competition conducted on Independence Day. Vasudha Pramod of PKG received second prize in Fancy Kids Competition conducted by SBOA Kids Fest. Many of them brought back laurels across different categories. A fun film and lively magic show was conducted for the kids, which had the desired impact with the students. On the whole, the journey was fruitful, a year of satisfaction and achievements of our school. Let me take this opportunity to thank the management of Bhagavad for the teaching and non-teaching staff for achieving this milestone. Let's hold hands together in the innovative approach and lead our kids to the path of success and make schooling a memorable one. I thank the Almighty for the blessings. Once again, thank you all. But also makes us contemplate about our potential, future possibilities and opportunities. Many milestones have been achieved and many still have to be reached. We at Bhavans with glimpse of a year in retrospect, I now invite our Vice Principal, Srimadhi Singh to 2023 24. Ma'am, please. Distinguished dignitaries, parents, members of the staff, and my dear students. It is with immense pleasure that I present the 47th Annual Report of Bhavan Svidya Mandar Girinagar for the academic year 2023-2024. Let me begin with academics. The outstanding results secured in SSE and SSCE serve as a testament to the legacy of the school's meritorious academic achievements. Out of the 163 students who appeared for SSCE, 100% secured first class and 139 secured distinction. 22 students got A1 in all subjects. See Nivedi Nandakumar, Jeel Banda, and Gobinda Gobakumar topped the science, commerce, and humanities strings with 97.4%, 96.8%, and 97% respectively. 145 of the 159 students who appeared for SSE exams secured distinction and 24 got A1 in all subjects. The toppers were Abhinav Satish, Arnav Premchand, Gayatri Praveen, Pranav G. Sanjeev and Lakshmi Shankari Nandana. This stellar performance in the 2023 board exams also won the school the P.T. Thomas Educational Excellence Award 2023. Our students proved their mettle in the All Kerala Bhavans Scholarship, MTSC, SOF Olympiad, Silver Sword, and that was conferred the coveted Kulabadi Munshi School 2022 amongst Bhavan schools across India and overseas. Srimadhi Sri Jodi N took charge as the principal of the school from former principal Srimadhi Kalyani NP on July 1st, 2023. Shikshan Bharati Comprehensive Evaluation. The annual Shikshan Bharati Evaluation was conducted on 12th and 13th September by a team of evaluators led by Srimadhi Usha K, Education Officer Shikshan Bharati. Moving over to the school's achievements in the Indus School Art, Literary and Cultural Circuit. The 25th All Kerala Bhavans Cultural Fest saw the school win the overall runner-up trophy in Category 1 and the third position in Category 4. The school secured third position in Category 3 and fifth in Category 4 at the Kuchi Sahodaya Fest. Team Hirinagar were the overall champions at the Indus School Literary and Cultural Competitions conducted by both Chinmaya Vidyalaya Tripunitra and Tokich Public School Vaitala. In both Kriti, the Indus School Quiz Competition conducted by BNV Baldur and Nada Nurjari, the Carnatic and Instrumental Music Competition organized by Vidyodaya School Tevakil, our school won the first runner-up position. The school also received the Best YI Chapter Award for the year 2023 and the first prize in Bridging Melodies, an event based on an art-integrated project with a team of paired states. 
The school also went on to achieve commendable positions in competitions and fests conducted by schools across the city and organizations like Cochin Shipyard, Ernakulam Karayogam, Ramakrishna Mat, and Rotary Club, to name a few. Sarkit Sandeep of Class 8A did the school proud by securing the first position at the national level in the Automobile Olympiad conducted jointly by the Automobile Skill Development Council and the CBSE jointly. He also won the first prize in the group discussion and mock interview conducted by the Rotary Club of Kachin. In the CBC stage Kalotsa, the first prize was won by Minakshi S. Parma Nayane in Carnatic Music and Arjun A. Menon 7A in the essay writing competition. Shivani A.J., Aditya Narayan 12A and Minakshi S. Parma Nayane completed the BSS diploma in various art disciplines. Panjami Ishwara Sharma 2A secured the second prize at the state level Gita Chanting Competition held at Chinmaya Vidyalaya Vadavala. Tamanna MS 8D secured prizes in Nandapura and Amrita Hospital. Nandi was awarded with a certificate in in National Sport 100 Gen 2 and has been chosen as one of the top 100 young science talents in India by the Vikram Sarabhai Science Foundation. Gaurang G5 9A was adorned with the Kalakrithi Medal of Appreciation in Hindustani music by the Heritage Foundation of Art and Culture. Gopika Bharagopal 11C won the second prize in the essay writing competition organized by the Amrita Hospital. Nikita P. Pai, 5A secured the first place in the Open State Yoga Sana Championship. Mehit 9-4C, Hannah Paulson, 10B, Vinay Dili, 7B, and Arya Vaishnav 10D won prizes in the Ernakulam District Yoga Sana competition and were selected for state level competition. Nihara Suresh, 11A, Anrida M. Pai, 9A, and Ria Philomena, 4A, secured coveted ranks in the Sugama Hindi Examination 2022, conducted by Kerala Hindi Prajar Sapa. Ashnil Surendran, 6B, was awarded champion title in the Advanced Level 2 Regional SIP Abacus Brain Gym and Mental Arithmetic Competition, and second runner-up position in the Advanced Level 3 in the 20th National Level SIP Abacus Competition. Andrea Philomena Thomas Fossi, Ardra Arun Krishnan 6A, Sana Shifu 7D won the first, second and third prizes respectively in the Masu National Painting Competition conducted by YI. In the All Kerala Inter School Gita Presentation Competition, Sri Sharada Subramanian 11C won the third prize in Group 6. Sri Sharada, Samyukta S. Nair Chendi, Minakshi S. Verma Nayane, and Shivani V. Kaimal AJ won prizes in the Sanskrit Fest conducted by the Chinmaya International Foundation. In the competitions organized by Balajana Satyam, Niranjan Kata Jene won the second prize for Mona Act, and Ardra Arun and Adya Arun Krishnan 6A secured the first and the third prizes respectively in live music. Keshav Manoj AJ received the silver play button from YouTube for reaching 100k subscribers through his channel or pending. In the essay writing competition conducted by FACT, Mihir Nayan, BM, Tenghi, and Rachel Koshi both in 12A won the first and third prizes respectively. In the essay writing competition organized by Thanalakshmi Bank, Darshana Harikumar Lenapi and Vaishnami Varma 12C won the second and third prizes respectively. At the annual Vidyodhya Camp 2023, Ms. Kala Nair, teacher, Department of Chemistry, won the award for the best accompanying teacher, and Ms. Induja Viyar, teacher, Department of Sanskrit, won the award for the best teacher. Ayush Krishnan and Stephen Abraham Chapo, AC, won the best team award, and Purnima SAB, Avantika ASHD, secured the runner up position. In the Inter-School Mathematics Paper Presentation Competition organized by BNV Bellur, the team comprising Rishikesh Verma 11B, Gobika Balagopal 11C won the first prize. 
John Matthew 7D won the third prize in the Read and Review Competition 2023 conducted by DC News. Smriti Sriram and Shivani V. Kaimal of 8A secured third place in the Indus School Mathematics Exhibition for Class 8 organized by Kavans Varunar Diyaya. Avantika Arahind Chudi emerged as the second runner-up of Lulu Little Star 2023. Agne T. Shibu, 5D, won the third prize in the Varki Sangeet competition conducted by the Rotary Club of Kochi. In the English Reading Challenge 2023-2024 conducted by CBSC, Malavika Umashandra 9B received the Certificate of Appreciation for her outstanding performance. Quiz Competitions Tyrone Thomas Tyson 10B and Kiran Thomas Tyson 9B won many prestigious quiz competitions. The list includes second runner-up position in the second edition of National G20 Think Quiz conducted by the Indian Navy and NWWA at the Gateway of India, Mumbai. Sonal finalist in the Ultimate Sports Quiz held at Mumbai in September 2023. Third prize in the U Genius All Kerala General Awareness Quiz conducted by Union Bank. Third prize in the quiz competition conducted in connection with the 28th All Kerala Children's Test organized the team of Kiran Level Quiz Competition which won them and all expenses met finally trip to camp on Bill Uttarakhand. Team of Abhijit Krishna Tene and Arjun Vivek Tendi and team of Vishnu Priya M. Nair 9D, Kiran Thomas Tyson 9D won the first and third places respectively in the Kochi Regional Finals of Conquest Standard 2023 conducted by PES University Bangalore. Arjun Vivek Tendi and Abhijit, Abhijit Krishna Tene secured second position in the Intika quiz. Kiran Thomas Tyson and Nakul AR 9B won the first prize at the November Rain Quiz Contest organized by Kotiam Round Table. Mihir Nayan BM 10D, Naina Padma Kumar 11D, Aditi Alekar Rajesh 11A secured the third position in the Science Quiz Competition conducted by Amrita Hospital. In the philately quiz conducted by head post office Ernakulam, our team consist consisting of Arjun Vivek Tendi and Abhijit Krishna Tene won the third prize. Akash Anu and Neeraj B. Nayar of 12A won the third prize in the quiz competition at Fabula 2023 conducted by Rajagiri Higher Secondary School Kalamashi. Then we won the third prize in the quiz competition conducted by participants in the national level Toffee Ride Go Quiz Competition Season 4. Finals conducted by the Toffee Ride Learning Platform. Kiran Thomas Tyson and Madhavika Umashankar of 9B won the first prize and Sri Shankar Balamurali and Lakshmi Shankari Nandana of 11D, Prama and Santa Monica. Kiran Thomas Tyson of 9B, Nakul AR and Yajat B. Carroll of 9C secured the third in the Brain Hunt 2023 conducted by Rotary Club of Kochi. Model United Nations. Our MAN team backed the runners up position in Rajagiri Model United Nations. Ari Gayatri R of Standard 12 was part of the board of directors in the Continuous Crisis Committee for the Ligatis Month 2023 held at BDM Elamakara and was part of the board of chairs in the United Nations Human Rights Council for Universal Diplomatic Model United Nations. She was selected as the best delegate UN Security Council in G20 Month 2023 held at the Choice School. Adhida Askar of 11D won the Best Delegate Award at the IINUN held at the Choice School. Adrishya Hari 9D representing the US won an honorable mention at the Monsters International Conference 2023. In the Sabasya Bhavans Model United Nations 2023, Team BBM Giri Nagar won prizes. Achievements in Sports and Games. The Usain Bolt of Bhavans Vidya Mandir Giri Nagar S.R. Rohan of Trelli did himself and his school proud by winning an array of gold medals. The most notable amongst them being double gold in 100 meters and 200 meters at the CBSC National Athletic Meet, Ernagam District Championship, and Kochi Sahodaya Sports Meet. Moreover, he earned the coveted individual championship title in the CBSC Cluster Athletic Meet. 
is one of the three athletes who has been sponsored by the elite group. Niranjan Raj of Sixi set a new meet record in short put. Sorry, Niranjana Raj of Sixi set a new meet record in short put at the KL Munshi Memorial Athletic Meet. Promising chess player Adi Theofin Lening 6B has quite a few achievements to his credit, namely third position in 38th National Under-11 Open Championship Tournament 2023 and the Under-12 category in the Kerala State in the School Selection Chess Championship. First position in the Under-12 Open category in Ernavalam District in the School Individual Selection Chess Championship 2023. Hari R. Chandran Twelve was selected from the state for the National Under-19 Chess Championship. He was placed second in the state championship. Arjun A. Menon 7A secured the second position in Forum Chess Swiss 2024, the fourth position in Ernagulam District in the school individual selection chess championship 2023. Janvi J. Menon of 7A and Jaishnavi J. Menon of 4A secured third and fifth position respectively in the Kerala State School Individual Chess Tournament. In the Ernagulam District Kickboxing Championship 2024, Jaishnavi J. Menon and Janvi J. Menon won KK Manisha Shah of 1C won the bronze medal in the 600 meters roller skating at the Kerala State Roller Skating Competition held at Palakkad. She also won the third prize in the Indus School Roller Skating Championship held at SVC Vidya Nigayan Kakana. In the CBSC South Zone Aquatic Championship, Advika Askar Levendi won silver in 50 meters backstroke, bronze in both 100 meters and 200 meters backstroke. She qualified to represent the South Zone at the Nationals for the 50 meters backstroke. Judo champion Ankit Rakesh HC won gold medals both in the South Zone Judo competition in the under 14 50 kg and in Krav Maga at the National Indoor Martial Art Games and bronze medal in the Sub Junior National Courage Championship 2023. He was also chosen as the best basketball player at the All Kerala Inter Bowens Games held at Bowens School at Perinduruti. Aditri Arun Pillai, Standard 6, secured first in Indra Academy Rhythmic Gymnastic Championship held at Balter Gymnastic Academy. Anshika Rakesh of Dusi won the gold medal at the 15th Kerala State Kurash Championship held at Hato. Kaushika Yuvaram of 3A. Akshani Yuram and Riyar Jitesh of 6A won prizes in the 9th YMCA Indoor first in the individual Kumite event in girls below 40 kg category and second in the individual Kumite event in girls open category in the Indoor Dojo Open Karate Championship. UNS Vajit Sajid 2C participated in the state Kerala State Arm Boxing Championship 2023 and secured first position in under 25 kg. Varsha R. Shankar 7D won first position in body fighter, third in body vision, and third in team main fighter in Ernakulam District Kalari Fighter Championship. Angida Sumesh 60 represented Ernakulam District and secured gold at the first state K1 amateur and pro state championship. In the 5th All Kerala Don Go Score in the School Aquatic Meet, Ram Kishan 3A won the first prize in 50 meters freestyle, 25 meters freestyle, and 25 meters backstroke. Abhimanyu Jodish of 3D won the first and second for Open Katha and Katha, respectively, in the State Karate Championship 2023. In the second Kerala State Open in the School ITF Taekwondo Championship, Riya Rajesh Nambia 2A won gold in the 21 kilogram weight category and silver in the green stripe. Devika V of 60 won gold in 30 kilogram weight category and the yellow belt category. Rishab Rajesh Nambia of 70 won gold. Nationals held at Kanji Puram, Riya won a bronze and a silver medal in the under 10 category and Rishab won two silver medals in the under 17 category. Tarun Thomas Tyson of 10B won the first prize in the District Checkers Championship. Kiran Thomas Tyson of Class 9, the school basketball team won several tournaments. 
Under 14 boys, under 19 boys, under 19 girls team emerged winners, secured the first runner-up and second runner-up positions respectively in the 12th province All Kerala Games held at Velutriti. Winners in the tournament held at Chennai Stamarachal, in which Deeraj P. Shenai of 7A was selected as the best in public school, in which Pratya Shwadeep of Standard 12 won the best player award. Won the runner-up trophy in the Sanskara Kick and Dunk basketball tournament conducted by Sanskara School. In the top pitch Centenary Cup basketball tournament, Adirudan Pillay and Prasim TPG of 9C won the best player of the match and the best promising player award respectively. Coco. The Coco boys under 19 team played at the national championship held at Mainpuri Uttar, Uttar, Uttar Pradesh. After having secured the runner up position in the CBSE cluster led in Coco Championship, Adirudan Pillay 9C was adjudged as the best defender. Sub junior boys team emerged winners in the Ernakulam District Coco Championship. Abhina Vipin, Juni Robin, Vaishak Subhash of 8D, Sean James 8C, and Prajun S7 B were selected to the Ernakulam District team. Both the boys and girls were the runners up and Coco tournament at the Coco tournament held at Nalanda Public School. Under 19 boys football team emerged. First runner-up in the 12th Bhavan's All Kerala Games held at Nerudruti, in which Durgesh Singh of 11D was chosen as the best goal tournament conducted by St. Charles Boromeo Convent School. Thomas Paul received the award for the best goalkeeper of the tournament. BVMG handball team secured second runner-up position in the CBSC South Zone handball tournament. Badminton. Tejas Burgis Saab of 5D, Dev Shankar of 6B, Krish Menon of 7A, Adidev A. Nair, Aganesh Krishnan of 8C, Akash Kishore and Aditya GP of 11D emerged winners in the River Bond School Badminton Championship. Achievements in Science Nevin P. Murali Standard 11 has been selected as the finalist at IRIS, the National Initiative for Research and Innovation in STEM National Fair organized by Exemplar Education Fingers Foundation, funded and supported by Broadcom and Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, which is being held at New Delhi yesterday and today. Nevin will showcase his project LBED, Leaf Blight, Black Rod Escar Detection in Measure Grade Wine. Attil Innovation Mission, Mission Achievements. Adarsh Satish and Sanjeevan Kartikeyan Standard 10 received certificates for being amongst the top 400 teams in the ATL Marathon 2022-2023. Our team of Advai Rajesh Standard 8 and Nivit Murali Standard 11 won the second position in the Pradeep P. Devanu Hackathon conducted by SEMS and won a cash prize of rupees 10,000. Prana KP of 7D and Advai Rajesh of 8D secured third position in the 3D modeling competition. Abhuraya 2023 conducted by Bhavan's Adarsh Vyaya. Advai Rajesh and Gauri Nath of 8D secured second position in the competition Udan conducted by BVM Edu. Asi Fahan and Advai Rajesh of 8D secured third position in the Inter School Tinkering Fest organized by BVM Elavangara. In the intramural competition, in Mission 2030, conducted by the ATL of our school, Milan Rajesh, Vishnu S. Kumar, Sri Lakshmi Praveen, Ananda Krishnan MP of Standard 9, and Pranam KP of Standard 7 won prizes. The school also conducted an inner school tinkering fest, the theme of which was Think Big, Think Green. Enrichment programs for students. Balajan Sakhim activities for the year was inaugurated in October 2023. Students of Standard 11 and 12 attended awareness sessions on career guidance by OP Jindal University, Vedic IAS Academy, Career Launcher, Think Design. And they also attended a session on cardiovascular diseases by Dr. Sashi Kumar, cardiologist, Medical Trust Hospital, Ernamura. An interactive session was arranged for Standard 11, wherein Major R. Rajesh, an alumni of Sainik School, Karakutam, and a commissioned officer in the Indian 
Karpi shared his experiences in the Karpi Home. Vedic AS Academy conducted sessions for standard 6 to 10. Mr. Sridhar Natarajan conducted a session on mathematics for the students of standard 9. Nature Talks. Team of 12 students and two teachers attended a four day camp, which was an environment conservation focused learning initiative at the Golden Boulder Camp, Telangana. Students of Standard 12 and a few teachers had the good fortune to go on board INS Vikram, the shipping marvel built by at the Cochin Union, Cochin Shipyard Limited. Students of Standard 11 visited Medex the medical exhibition organized by Kottayam Medical College. Co-curricular activities to facilitate holistic development in students. Magnum Opus. The 28th edition of Magnum Opus, the theme of which was dance, was conducted on 19th August. This time, the chief guest was the ladies superstar Manjuwari. Ganit Visar. The 7th Indus School Mathematics Competition Gani Visar 2023 was conducted in connection with the National Mathematics Day celebrations. Houses and Clubs The 8 houses and the various clubs provide a suitable learning environment where students get a chance to channelize their positive energy to bring in their maximum potential in the learning process. Radio Gilgan Radio Gilgan continued to give a full students by providing a fantastic platform for them to help shed their inhibitions, build confidence and showcase their inherent talents. Kala Bharati. Kala Bharati, the program designed to instill the love for art and culture in both staff and students, violin, veena, rhythm, yoga and drawing. Educe sport. To make sports an integral part of every child's education and upbringing, a school reintroduced the physical education program at the school. Awakened Citizen Program. The Awakened Citizen Program emphasizes that each child is unique and has infinite potential. It is introduced in classes 1 to 8 with an aim to empower students to realize their innate possibilities and thus enable them to integrate values in their lives to bring about a transformation from within. National Cadet Corps. Our NCC unit that was incorporated 16 years ago is marching forward with all set with 50 cadets on board. It plays a credible role in shaping the character of students by instilling the values of patriotism, service, discipline, and hard work. In the cadet annual training camp held at Bhavan Spring Vidyalaya Valur, by 21 Kerala Bajari, S. Srikesh of 9A was selected as the best cadet. Ms. Basajan of 9B and S. Srikesh of 9A secured the second position in rifle shooting and selected to Indo Grouping Camp and Tal Sainik Camp. Annual Health Checkup. A comprehensive medical inspection by a team of specialists is organized every year. Every student of our school undergoes a health checkup once in a year by the doctors from Wellness Solutions. Vision, dental, ENT and general health are checked and recorded. Scouts and Guides A school introduced the Scouts and Guides program for the students of standard 5 to 8. It is functioning under the aegis and guidance of Hindustan Scouts and Guides India. School Library Our school library has a collection of more than 13,000 books. A school library is a member of the National Digital Library Club, a movement for integrated digital learning across India. NDLI Club is a platform for conducting learning-oriented events. In association with DC Books, a school organized a book exhibition in the school. School Publications The annual school newsletter Tuliga and magazine Bhavana will be published soon. School Counselor the efforts of the team of special educators have tremendously supported the students in their overall development. Counseling service is extended to parents too. Resource home facilities have been made available to students with special needs. Education tool. All classes are taken on one-day education tools. This service this serves to enhance their bonding and instills a sense of responsibility in them. Trips have been completed for some classes and the others will be completed in a fortnight. Awards and recognitions for teachers. Srimadhi Mary Philomena PG, 
teacher, Department of Computer Science, was honored with the P.T. Thomas Excellence Award 2023 for her unstinted support and guidance to the student community. In the recently conducted Abhiruji Teachers Conclave at Adarsha Vidyalaya, the theme, theme of which was design thinking, the teacher duos of Kala S. Nair Nidhu P.S. Akhil A. and Anita G. won the second and third prizes respectively. Ms. Nidhu P.S. secured the second prize in the synchronized colors poster painting competition held in connection with the teachers conclave Vidya Juwala at Vidya Diya School Tevakil. Srimati Anjana Varma, teacher, Department of Mathematics, received the award for the best teacher coordinator, YLA. Mr. Vinu B, Karate Master of the School, won the award for the best instructor at the South Indian Karate Tournament. Enrichment programs for teachers. In keeping with CBSC, prerogative of undergoing 50 hours of professional development annually, teachers attended a wide range of webinars. Some of them were subject specific, while others were general in nature. Principal Srito D N, Vice Principal Sindhu K, Assistant Vice Principal Indu S, and Special Educator Sushi P are resource persons for the CBSC Center for Excellence. Infrastructure Development. As part of the infrastructure development, we have upgraded our infrastructure facilities, including the washroom, canteen, computer lab, bio lab, and library. The construction of the lift is under process. Important days observed. To mark the significance of national, international, and cultural days, several programs and functions were organized at school, thus adding color and vibrancy to school life. Community Outreach Program. As part of the Community Outreach Program, students joined hands to donate bags and study materials to children of Ponyurani uh, Sanmarga Pradivam School and Ponyurani GLPS School. The support staff of BVM Girinagar were honored at the program Snehas Vashram, Joy of Giving, and as a token of love and appreciation, all of nearly 500 cakes and a number of new clothes were distributed to St. Joseph's UP School, Kadavandra, Arige Palliative Care, Ramakrishna Mission, uh, Mahila Vibhag, and GLPS Girinagar. Parent Teacher Association. A school BTA has been a pillar of strength and support to the efforts of the school both in curricular and co-curricular fronts. They felicitated the toppers and the students who scored A1 in all subjects in the SSD and SSE exams 2023. They were also proactive in more ways than one and took the initiative to provide a brand new sound system for the main stage, financial assistance to a couple of parents. The PTA also saw the arrangement of honor Paisam and its distribution to the whole school. They also went all out to favor of the school. In the one hour long program, which featured 11 languages, as many as 70 participants from standard 1 to 11 participated. Their relentless support and cooperation always act as a stimulus to initiate new ventures in each academic year. Alumni Association. The Alumni Association of BBMG met at school on 30th December after a hiatus of six years and the program was attended by a good number of alumni and teachers of Esther years. Alumnus Dr. Ashin Shekhar, astrophysicist and astronomer IMCCE Paris Observatory, France was felicitated at Bhavga, a special meeting organized at school in the wake of the International Astronomical Union naming a minor planet after him in honor of his outstanding contributions. Acknowledgement. The success and happiness quotient of any institution depends on the proactive contributions and efforts of all the stakeholders and our school is no different. At this juncture, I wish to place on record our profound gratitude to our chairman, C. A. Venugopal C. Govind, CMP, CSL, Sri Madhu S. Nair, Director Sri E. Ramamurthy, members of the Kendra Committee, School Management Committee, 
PTA Executive Committee, the Alumni Association, dear parents, students, teachers, non-teaching staff, and all beneficiaries. Thank you for helping us synergize ourselves to move ahead with a positive attitude. We continue to strive for excellence and look forward to happy and happening academic year. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Havans Vidya Mandir Girnagar, a pioneer among CBC schools in the state, is committed to integrating the best of modern education with the essence of India's heritage and values. This year, we celebrate 47 glorious years of preparing students to embark on a journey of academic as well as personal excellence.
पावन स्काला मंदिर पीटीए वाइस प्रेसिडेंट टीचर्स पेरेंट्स एंड ऑल स्टूडेंट्स गैदर गिव दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे टेकिंग स्टॉक ऑफ वॉट इज है फीलिंग प्राउड ऑफ इट planning for the next year all happens on this day in the minds of all those who are present here lucky parents and lucky students when the annual report was being read out i saw the diversity in the activities that happen at the school and it is not just activities happening activities which take students to the highest levels i will touch upon that i have an slightly unconventional way of trying to communicate what i want to say to you today to help me begin i call two students from here yes please Please introduce yourself. My name is Nivedita. I'm Kamala. Yes. So Kamala and Nivedita are friends. Yes. Nivedita. 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 What do you like about Kamala? Okay. I stop. Nivedita, what is that? Left hand. The other hand. Ah, uh, what is this? Right hand. So, what is this? What is this? Yes, your left hand. Right. Drive home one point regarding communication. This is not just left hand. It is. First, you, your answer should have been whose left hand? Kamala's left hand. So communication has to be clear and complete. Voice is clear, but the communication is not complete. In this world, whatever be your profession, you will have to communicate, and your communication is going to be more international. with people who belong to a different culture yes so learn to speak now you like your friends here do you like your friends here yes hello she is your friend because of her hair no no she is not her friend because of her hair is it because of her the length of her finger no it should be around 2 and 1/2 inches No. Why is she a good friend of yours? Uh, I consider her as a good friend of mine because of her personality. Uh, What is so great about her personality? She never judges me. She likes me the way I am. She likes her the way she is, and she never judges me. Judges her. The word, yes, the word which has got introduced is personality. it is not because the size of her forehead the length of her nose and other physical features that she is like it is because of her personality and personality her behavior with respect to so how people behave with me that is the reason i like people or is like and this behavior is a part of personality thank you have a nice day i just want to bring this word i just wanted to bring home this word of personality on stage it is very important interpersonality is important in groups it is important in stabilizing yourself when you are on your highs you achieve 
how to manage that joy and when you are on your lows how to manage the low all will come out of your personality and this personality which is such an important thing is left to chance is left to chance when you are in the personality and i go to some go with you it happened it just happened personality is too big a thing to leave to chance it's too important a thing to leave to chance we are doing so much morning get up clean yourself feel your hair doesn't look good you go to a beautician you work so much on this less important things this less important things you work so much on and on a very important thing called personality you leave it to chance you just leave it to chance i just want to and at bhavans it is not left to chance and bhavans it is not left to chance i could see from the annual report where there are so many activities dear parents when a new child is born you get a child with billions of neurons in the child's head not programmed it is not programmed some genetic programming is of course there but most of the programming is not done and the first few years three three and a half years that the child spends at home a lot of programming is done a lot of programming is done not at school before they reach school a lot of programming is done i will call it pre programming i just mentioned one incident and the parent asks who tell uncle i am not at home tell uncle i am not at home and every now and then this parent is the parent who tells the child be honest be truthful that is what you are telling the parent uh, the child but then what is more truthful words or action without doubt we have seen the heights of untruthfulness if i may coin a word like that today but actions and actions when crucial sacrifices involved actions when gain is involved you will do but actions where loss is involved and you still have to be truthful and loose that is the asset test that is the asset test so parents please remember you say love everyone and you couple you keep fighting with each other and you are telling your child to love everyone please live a life don't speak too much don't preach too much but show through your life the character your child should be just show through your life your life should be the message you behave at home with friends with others you say love your neighbors and the last time you have said hello to the neighbors was three and a half years back when that gentleman's father died eh? so just live that life it will not be only good for the child it will be good for everyone at home the society for everyone so that is the message i have for the parents don't advise live the life that you want your child to be the character your child should be and slowly that will happen slowly that will happen i was then child is not an extension of you don't think the child belongs to you child is neither an extension of you nor does the child belong to you is a human being has its own mind let that mind grow and develop this is 
What is important is not being first in everything you touch. Achieving your potential. Achieving your potential. And your potential is different from X or Y's potential. Achieving your potential. And your potential as you gauge it. Not as the parent gauges it. As the child gauges it, that potential. Don't become a barrier to achieving that potential. Be an enabler, be a facilitator. And today's world, there are millions of ways of becoming successful and happy. It is not this profession, that profession X, Y, four parts only to success in world. No, it's not four or five parts to success in world. And if a path is not there, your child will create it. You give the support. You give the support and the child will create it. But, again, caution. The child does not have information and the maturity to take many decisions. Doesn't have the information. I have met so many students I was the Chief of Career Guidance Bureau at QSAT for 13, 14 years. So I've met many students who come for career advice. You know their best and most believed advisor? Their classmates. Who are equally knowledgeable or lack, have lack of knowledge, they are their chief advisors. And I have heard a few students say, I am going to take this and I am going to join this college because my best friend is doing that. The most illogical reason I could think of. Most illogical reason why you choose a career is because your best friend has also chosen it. But at that emotional age, that becomes the strongest reason to choose a career. I don't say by choosing you will be unsuccessful, no. Because the human being is multifaceted with multiple capabilities in many areas where they put their heart and mind and work to, they can be successful. That's God's grace. So, but in choices there are two phases. Pre-decision, post-decision. Pre-decision and post-decision. Pre-decision is a phase where you gather information, look at opportunities, look at yourself. Look for a match. Look for what makes you happy. What makes you happy? Holding medals makes you happy, you get into the rat race. Doing your work to your satisfaction and then peaceful going back and resting, put in your effort, best effort. Results, let them come. I don't say one is better than the other. All different. A match is important. Helping them find a match is important. And provide information and not decisions. Don't provide decision to the children. Provide information and logical reasoning. If their logical reasoning is going wrong in taking a decision, say ask them, this logic is it sound? Why don't you look at another logic to support your choice? Yes, be that and not a decision maker. Many decision makers have become successful. That's just chance. It's not because you did the right thing. It just happened to be the right thing. And like I said, most of the children are so, so talented, they can do so many things that in many parts they would have been successful. I was thinking, if I had not been a teacher, I did not start up my career as a teacher. I was mad I realized my passion for learning new things, Sir, School of Management Studies, who said, for a salary cut of my last salary divided by 10. Last salary divided by 10. Fortunately, I was not married then and my wife was not there to stop me from taking that. But then, my friend told me, Basi, you have taken a good choice. You have done, taken a good decision. We try to 
make money and hope that money can be converted to happiness. We try to make money and hope that money can be converted into happiness. And you have taken the direct route to happiness. All of us want happiness and you have taken the direct route. Next thing is a message to the students. Don't, at school, at school, you should be friends. Not very pally friends, that is difficult, but you should have a working relationship, good working relationship with all your classmates. Why? If you are able to have that, you are growing. As a person, you are growing. You are capable, making yourself capable of working with a wide number of different types of young children. Rather than strict, sticking to two, three people, they are my best friend, project I will do with them, everything I will do with them, no. And you don't know how much insights, how much development and how much learning comes with interacting with people who are seemingly different from you. You are comfortable with people who are similar, but seemingly different. I say seemingly because it was only surface When you cross that, difference is only surface After that it is mostly similarities. <laughs> Try to make that your teachers have so much to give. The method by the, which they give, the predominant method, is talk, lecture, which might not be very interesting. But then, I assure you, what you can gather in a lecture, if you leave that path and you try to gather it by reading, for every hour of lecture, you will need 10 to 15 hours of reading. To get that content, you will get need 10 to 15 hours of reading to get that content because this is distilled, connected in a way, painted as a picture. So, use that. Could be a little boring, but it's very efficient if you know and learn how to use it. It is a very efficient way of learning. And my times revising was very important. Do you know the importance of the revision? All sound, all sound created, we don't have, God has not given us ear caps to close this. When I don't want to hear what you are saying, can I lift this up and close my ear? God has not given us that. Eyes I don't want to see, I can close God has given us that ability. But ears, no. All noise made will vibrate your tympanum. But whether brain will register all sounds, decipher all sounds, is where the filter comes. So you can put a filter to cut off what is happening in class and sit there. And you can choose higher study. I will do tuitions. Any way you are sitting in the class, make best use of it. Make best use of it. There are other forms of input for learning material. Use them. I am a teacher. Now when AI has come, generative AI, chat GPT has come, it doesn't worry me. It doesn't worry me at all. Because I myself use chat GPT and do better than that. I use input of chat GPT as my input and add to that and present in the class. So they, would, they get more than what chat GPT get. If I take chat GPT as my competitor, I play a losing game. I play a C. Information is not the essence. Information overload is the problem. Information overload is the problem. How to take the bits of information coming, 
put it into a picture, make it usable, use it. That is the skill. That's it in chat GPT won't have. Last message. We used to have long back in the days of Guru, who is the teacher of all subjects in manufacturing, where complex job. I did my MTech project at Telco Jamshedpur's truck assembly line. 150 meters of assembly line at one end a uh, chassis blank, just the well, uh, riveted chassis is dropped and 150 meters away after 78 minutes a truck is driven off. All the things are put in between. But a person who is putting the rear wheel of the truck for 8 hours a day he is putting rear wheel and tight. Real, rear wheel right side and tight. I don't know how many of you have seen modern times the movie in which Charlie Chaplin was doing an assembly job and then when he's going home he's doing this because he was again putting the wheel and tightening it. It has become so much of reflex action that home going home also is happening. Hands go like this. My connection with that, of that with the teaching is after the industrial revolution we made teaching learning also fragmented. Fragmented. We have separate physics, separate chemistry, separate biology. Why separate social science? There is linkage between all these. And it is this linkage which makes the whole in life. But today, since we have compartmentalized all this, no one talks about the linkage. No one talks about the linkage. The physics teacher teaches only physics. The chemistry teacher only teaches chemistry. Linkage. You leave it to the learner to decide, to understand the linkage. You leave it to the learner to understand the linkage. And I don't think at a young age the learner is capable of understanding the linkage. So those who understand the linkage are the people who rise and go big. Some effort, let some effort be there in one class. come together and talk about the linkages between physics and chemistry, especially to the higher standard students. We should not leave, leave after compartmentalizing knowledge into silos, because this compartmental area, chat GPT, GPT, other AI can perform better. Integrative, they can't perform as well. Let NI rule over AI forever. Natural intelligence, NI may rule over AI forever. Last message. This billions of neurons I was talking about in your head. We mostly use it as a storage device. As a storage device. This is a powerful processing engine misused as storage device for some time some essential things use it as storage device but make make use of it learn to make use of it as a great processing engine your school is doing great and will help you in this the children you are lucky parents you are double lucky i had both my children educated at Howard's, and i can watch for it Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your words of wisdom have the power to bring a change in our thoughts, words, and action. I'm extremely overwhelmed to invite Srimati Sunta S., Academic Supervisor, Khardi Vidya Bhavan Kochi Kendra, to offer felicitations. Ma'am, please.
most respected chief guest of the day, Professor Mokar Yam Bhasi, the principal of the school, Sri Mati Sri Jyoti N, principal Sri Mati Sindhu, assistant vice principal Sri Mati Hindu, teacher in charge, Bhavan Swalamandir, Sri Mati Jayasri Suresh, Sri Mati Anjana, Coordinator of Primary School, Ananta Ayya, Vice President, PTA, Parents, Teachers, and uh, Non-Teaching Staff, and My Dear Students, Namaste and a warm good morning to each one of you. On this joyous occasion of our Primary School's Annual Day, it is with great pleasure that we gather to celebrate the achievements and growth of our young stars. Today, we acknowledge the pivotal role of parents and teachers in shaping the future of our children. Parents, your unwavering support and guidance have laid the foundation for these bright minds to flourish. Your involvement is crucial as you are the first educators in your child's life. Instilling values, nurturing curiosity and fostering a love for learning. Teachers, your dedication and passion have been instrumental in nurturing the potential of each child. You have not only imparted knowledge, shaping the character and values. As we celebrate the accomplishments of our students, it is important to reflect on the framework that guides our educational approach. The National Education Policy 2020 provides a roadmap for holistic education, emphasizing the development of skills, critical thinking, and creativity. This approach ensures that our children receive a well-rounded education that goes beyond textbooks, nurturing their cognitive, emotional, and social capabilities. Our primary school embraces the spirit of the national education policy, aiming to create a learning environment that encourages curiosity, exploration, and a love for learning. This framework emphasizes the importance of a child-centric approach, acknowledging the unique strengths and abilities of each student. Today, as we witness the performance and achievements of our students, it is obvious that the school caters to not only the intellectual growth, but also gives equal importance to the development of other latent skills such as fine arts and sports and games. Let us reaffirm our commitment to nurturing these young minds. Let us continue to work together as a community of parents, teachers, and mentors to provide our children with the best possible foundation for a bright and successful future. Congratulations to our young achievers, wishing that many more accolades come your way as you strive to succeed in all your endeavors. Thanks are due in equal measures to the parents and teachers for your invaluable contributions to their growth and success. May the accomplishments of the school grow by leaps and bounds in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. It's my pleasure to invite Sri Ananda Ayer, Vice President, PTA, Pavan Swithya Madhukirnada, to offer felicitation. Sir, please. Namaste, Akya Hapsak. I would like to put my humble pronouns to the father of our nation, Babuji Mahatma Gandhi. A great day, respected guys, Basi sir, principal man, 
Vice Principal Ma'am, Vice Principal Ma'am, Sunida Ma'am, Anjana Ma'am. Let me start from where Basis are left. Lot of thinking and thought process. So many new ways of putting things into perspective. Which give all of us a different approach to life, which is most crucial that change is the only thing which is permanent in life as we move on. Before that, I extremely thank the management and my fellow PTA members for giving me this opportunity to be here as Vice President of the PTA. And this school is my second home. Basisar has got two, of two kids. I've got three kids. All of them are educated and still getting educated from here. It's a second home for me where we find a lot of comfort and warmth. And also, the annual day report clearly gives the full clarity. It's not only education, but also sports and also the other activities which the school is taking so much of care and gives all the children a great opportunity to come up in their life. Being a right on, I'm extremely proud to be here. Before I conclude, I would like to quote, when I was a child, I used to admire the intelligent people. When I get, got old, I'm admiring the kind people. I'm leaving that here for the primary and the uh, township that the kindness has to be imbibed in all the child when they grow up, which will make them a better personality in their life to come. I conclude here. Thank you so much once again for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. A focused approach, diligence, perseverance, and a positive attitude have always enabled our students to scale the lofty heights of success. The awards our students received today were a testimony to the Italian proverb, trifles make perfection, but perfection is no trifle. Next, we move on to the much awaited prize distribution ceremony in Comium Exemplar. May I call upon Srimadhi Zina Manuel and Srimadhi Gita K to read the list of prize winners. I request our chief guest, Dr. M. Bhasi, to kindly give away the annual awards to the winners. All the dignitaries on and off the days, parents, teachers, and your children. Namaste and a warm good morning. We are immensely delighted to announce the annual awards for the academic year 2023-24. We begin with the subject toppers of class 12 in the CBC exam, SSCE 2023. Jean Banda is the recipient of the following prizes. The prize instituted by Sri Sundaration in memory of Dr. K. S. Nai for securing a center in accountancy. The prize instituted by Skyland Builders. The prize instituted by Sri Vijayan C. in memory of Major V. K. Menon to the topper in economics and Sri Madhi Subalakshmi Endowment Award for the topper in business studies. On behalf of her, her father is receiving the prize. Joseph Paul Anthony has acquired a perfect centrum in accountancy and is the recipient of the prize instituted by Sri Sundaration for the topper in accountancy. C. Nivedit Nandakumar is a recipient of multiple prizes. The topper in English, the prize instituted by Sri Thomas Mudraparamil in memory of Sri K. E. Cheryan, the prize instituted by Sri Gopinathan in memory of his son Anuradh Ji, 
and prize instituted by Srimadhi Ganga Devi in memory of her father, Mr. N. S. Pillai, to the topper in mathematics. On his behalf, his mother will be receiving the prize. Gautam Mahesh is the recipient of multiple prizes. The prize instituted by Sri Thomas Mudiraparambi, Sri Gopinathan and Sri Madhi Ganga Devi to the topper in mathematics and the prize instituted by Sri Madhi Dharmala Venkateshwaran in memory of her father, Sri A. Nambiaya, for securing a center in chemistry. Guy Kri Sujit Nair is the recipient of the prize instituted by Sri Thomas Mudira Paramil, Sri Gobinathan and Sri Madhi Ganga Devi to the topper in mathematics. I request Guy Kri's mother to receive the prize. Vijay Jairam is the recipient of the prize instituted by Sri Thomas Mudira Paramil, Sri Gobinathan and Sri Madhi Ganga Devi to the topper in applied mathematics. Namida B. Pillai is the recipient of multiple prizes, the prize instituted by school for the topper in English and the prize instituted by Srimadhi Maheshwari Ramanujam to the topper in biology. The recipients of the prize instituted by Srimadhi Maheshwari Ramanujam to the, to the topper in biology is shared among Achyut Shivaram, Haripriya R.S., Nihal George Kochil, Hari Priya R.S. Nihal George Kochi, his grandfather, he will see in the prize. Priya Susan Biju, her mother, he will receive the prize. Sri Lakshmi Kishanoy, on behalf of her, his mother, her mother will be receiving the prize. Tamima Parveen Hermes on her behalf, her mother will be receiving the prize. Neha Anil, Nehanika Varma, Matthew, Ashvika Yumara, and C. Jodhika. On behalf of her, father will be receiving the prize. The recipients of the prize instituted by school for the topper in English shared between Naina Menon and Pavitra Prabhu. Anirudh N. Kammar is the recipient of the prize instituted by Srimadhi Sunita S. in memory of her grandmother Srimadhi M. Patmavdi to the topper in physics. Her sister will be receiving the prize. Prize instituted by Heritage, the institution which promotes innovative techniques in learning to the topper in computer science is shared between Akshay Anil and Krishnan E. They have secured a center in computer science. On behalf of Akshay, his mother will be receiving the prize. On behalf of Krishnan, his mother will be receiving the prize. Arvind Manoj is the recipient of multiple prizes. He is the topper in informatic practices and the topper in history. Both the subjects with a perfect symptom. His father will be receiving the prize. Gopika Gopakumar is the recipient of many prizes. The prize instituted by Heritage for the topper in informatic practices with a score of 100 and the prize instituted by the school for the topper in psychology. The recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the topper in psychology is R.D. Sandeep. Thank you, sir. Now we have the prizes for the subject purpose of class 10 CBSE exam, SSC 2023. I humbly request Srimati Sunita S, Academic Supervisor, Bharati Vidya Bhavan Kuchi Kendra to do the honors. Ma'am, please.
Sri Govind Narendra Jidesh has secured a sendam in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the highest scholar in artificial intelligence and the prize instituted by Dr. G. Sri Kumar Menon in memory of his father, Sri E. Govind Kuti Menon, for the topper in English. Abhinav Satish has secured sendam in Sanskrit and in artificial intelligence and he is the recipient of the following prizes. The prize instituted by the school for the chopper in artificial intelligence. The prize instituted by Srimadhi Uma Devi K, former Sanskrit teacher. To the chopper in Sanskrit and the Thomas Muthira Parangal to the chopper in mathematics. S. Harini has many praises. She has secured a center in social science and in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the following prizes. The prize instituted by the school for the topper in artificial intelligence. The prize instituted by Sri Thomas Mudire Parangal to the topper in mathematics. The prize instituted by Srimadhi Rama Velayadan in memory of her parents, Srimadhi Saraswati Kurim and Sri K. Narayana Kurim and the prize instituted by Sri K. Chako in memory of Sri K. C. Ibrahim and the prize instituted by Professor Joseph K. Alexander to the topper in social science and the prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Haryana to the topper in Hindi. Manha Sanjay has secured a sendam in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the chopper in artificial intelligence and the prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Hariharan to the chopper in Hindi. Nihara Suresh has secured a sendam in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the highest scholar in artificial intelligence and the recipient of the prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Hariharan to the chopper in Hindi. Nandita Rekunath has secured a sendam in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the chopper in artificial intelligence and the prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Hariharan to the student scoring highest mark in Hindi. The prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Hariharan to the student scoring the highest mark in Hindi is shared among Gopika Balagopal. Rohit Panandari Ramesh, Atul S. Bhatt, and Govind Pushparajan B. On behalf of Govind, his mother will be receiving the prize. Atiti Alekha Rajesh has recipient of the following prizes. The prize instituted the chopper in science and the prize instituted by Srimadhi Shanda Hariharan to the chopper in Hindi. Now I invite Sri Anandaya, Vice President PTA, Bhavan Vidyamandar Dhirinagar to give away the prizes. Kirtana Prakashem has secured a sendam in artificial intelligence and is the recipient of the prize instituted by the school for the highest scorer in artificial intelligence and the prize instituted by the school for the highest scorer in Malayalam. The prize instituted by the school for the highest scorer in Malayalam is shared between Lakshmi Shangari Nandana and Gopika Vino. The prize instituted by Srimadhi Uma Devi K, former Sanskrit teacher BBM Girinagar, to the top scorer in Sanskrit is shared among Sri Sharada Subramanian, Anaka Anand, and Sri Nanda Sulit. And the Khan and Sri Nanda Sulit. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Srimadhi J. Sri Suresh, teacher in charge, Bhavan's Balamandar Township Palace, to do the honors. Ma'am. The recipients of the prize instituted by the school for the highest scorer in artificial intelligence are Atul S. Bhatt, Anna Premchan, Pranav G. Sajeev, 
आत्मात्मक मार्ग तृप्ति के लिए ए एन बी एस ललिता सीमा कुर्ती इस नाम प्रेजेंट है जिन्हें अमन मैथ्यू बिजू अजन एस पाइन अमिता मरियम बिजी Jyotish 3D, Mr. 
your example teaches valuable qualities such as affection, approachability, and empathy. Handling sensitive matters as a primary coordinator is no easy task, and you have demonstrated exceptional leadership. Thank you so much. Let's not forget the unsung heroes, the people behind the scenes. Let me extend a heartfelt thanks to all the non-teaching staff, the people managing the lights and sound, and all those who worked tirelessly to make all the arrangements required for a program of this nature. Thank you all. I extend our sincere gratitude to our beloved principal, Sri Jyoti Madam, and dearest Vice Principal Sindhu Ma'am for all the guidance and support provided for the smooth functioning of this event. A huge thank you to both. Once again, thank you all for contributing to the grantor of this unforgettable day. Thank you. Uh, dear Babaji, it's 11 o'clock, and as part of observing the Martyrs Day, let's observe one minute silence. As part of observing the Martyrs Day, Let's observe one minute silence. I request everyone to remain silent. Thank you, everyone. We have come to the close of the formal function. I request our guests to occupy their seats reserved in the front row.
two friends for their mesmerizing performance. Please lend your ears to a beautiful song by Nandana N of Standard 3C.
melody song. Next, we have a vibrant dance performance depicting the rich culture and traditions of our land, Kerala. Give it up for the students of Standard 5 as they present Swagata. Kerala, they were in the Sundam Nana. Nana Jadu Madasa, Yego the Sapo the Gale for the Kerina, India Mahara de Tele, would purchase some style. Malayali Idin, Apimani Kinododopo, Hurde Vishaga the Ude, Warner on Vishum Christmas on Pedana Villam, Namakurna Yakushia. Why with the Sanskar and Huni would have learned to part money, Swaga the Nurta.
LKG and UKG take to the stage. Let me. 
Pipi, Pipi, please move Didi. This looks very nice. How did you make it? I made it with baby coconuts. This is my baby coconut car. I can hear some music. It's from my house. Shall we all dance together? Come home. Gumi, Bhavish, Paan. Let's dance. Dancing rocks. 
teacher also taught me that we live in a blue planet called the earth papa we always see moon in the night sky can we reach the moon yes of course in a magic vehicle a magic vehicle it looks similar to the pencil with which you write it's mostly round at the bottom and pointy at the top they are very huge and weigh a lot like 100 elephants together does its name start with letter r is it a rocket yes dear smoke like the car needs petrol or diesel to move rockets use hydrogen and oxygen to soar into the space tomorrow you can watch it in the television it's a special day for us indians because we are going to land on the moon now it's getting late shall we go to bed is going to launch a space vehicle Chandrayaan 3 with the help of rocket LVM3 M4 it has rover Pragyan and lander Vikram it is launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh Let's join Bhumi's family to witness the launch. Where is the rocket? carrying the spacecraft with lander and rover what is chandrayaan dear it's the trip to the moon with the help of rockets what are lander and rover rover is a small robot which can move and take pictures of our moon Lander is a protective shell which carries the rover and lands on the moon. Please watch carefully. We are going to land on the moon soon. Let's go to the moon in two minutes and ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four.
as the as the laurels of victory. There is a glory to be found if one has done his best, said Eric Liddell, Scottish runner and Olympic gold medalist. Yes, sports can unify, excite, frustrate and inspire us like nothing else. Here, we have the students of Standard 1 to set the stage on fire with their power-packed, sports-themed dance performance. We have the one and only sport that enthralls the spectators like no other, where every kick of the ball rhymes with the pulse of my heart. Yes, it's none other than football. With all its zest and fervor, let's football. Three, two, one.
that has improved and well established history in the realm of sports. A fast paced game that requires speed, agility, and stamina. The frenzy for this game has been acquired by India from its Olympic presentation in the 20th hundred years. It's none other than hockey, our national game. So, get up for a hockey ride.
fraction of a second when a catch is taken and you know you have got it but no one else yet does. It is still only between you and the ball, a secret shared in the luminal space. It is there only for the mere flicker of time and then it is gone, lost, punctured by ecstasy and euphoria. Any guesses on what we are talking about? This game is portrayed in Indian popular culture as an extremely important part of India's national identity. We are talking about none other than cricket that is frequently associated with it.
ready for a solo sonic performance by Siddhar J of 3D. Find themselves faced with a modern day challenge 
and save the day with their bravery and courage through a skip, say no to gadgets.
is no substitute for a book in the life of a child. Books give us out to the universe, wings to the mind, fly to imagination, and life to everything.
how come the little humans have taken over our gardens? How did they encroach into my garden? Hey kids, out, out of my garden. What are you doing here? How dare you enter my garden? I visited with my friend Cornish Ogre seven years ago. And during that time, you're misusing my beautiful garden? You children, what are you doing here? Hey, you awful creatures of our garden. Oh, these little humans have spoiled my lawn. Look at those branches, they're dying so low. My garden is my own garden. Others will be prosecuted. He's a selfish giant. Yes, very selfish. It's so sad that we have nowhere to play. Yes, what will we do now? Play on roads? The roads are very dusty and full of hard stones. How can we play there? I hope we get a chance to go back to that beautiful garden. We wish to go there too. God, help us out. Then the spring came. All over the country, there were little blossoms and little birds. Only in the garden of the selfish child, it was still winter. The birds did not care to sing in it, as there were no children. And the trees forgot to bloom. The only people who were pleased by the snow and the frost. Ha ha ha! The spring has forgotten the garden. Yes! So we will live here all year round. The snow covered the grass with a great white cloak and the frost painted all the trees silver. Then they invited the north wind to stay with them. This is a delightful spot. We must ask the hail to come and together we can blow the chimney pots down. I will rattle on the roof of the castle till I break the slates and then I will run round and round the garden as fast as I can. Selfish 
I will not enter his garden, nor will I keep any flowers or fruits. Friends, friends, I have good news for all of you. Good news? What is it? I noticed a small hole in the wall in the giant's garden. But if we enter, the giant will throw us out from there. No, no, I think he's sleeping. Are you sure? I think so. Okay, let's go to the garden. What is it, dear? Dad, can't you hear? What a melodious sound! It must be the king's musicians passing by. No, Dad, look, it's a little linnet singing near your window. It's been long since we have heard a bird singing in the garden. Yes, dear, it's a mesmerizing tune. I am seeing the most wonderful sight. Honey, there's a surprise for you. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. What a delightful sight this is. But in the hand in it, I'll surely do that. How selfish I have been. <laughs> hey children, don't go away. I am now your friend. Dear children, no one will stop you from playing inside this garden. You can come here whenever you wish to play. How selfish I have been. Now I know why the spring was late to arrive. Yes, dear, I understand. Children are the true flowers of our garden. They are the ones who impart life to our garden. Let them be here from now on. Dad, see the little humans are back in our garden. These little intruders are such a mess. Oh dear, don't say like that. They are not intruders. These little children have brought the flowers and birds that you see here. We should be thankful to them. Dad, can we also join them? Definitely, my dear. We are all part of this wonderful universe. The trees, the flowers, these little children and everything under the sun. I did not understand this because I was selfish. You shouldn't be like that. You should learn to live in harmony, loving each other, caring for others, sharing your things with the needy. Only then we can create a better world to live in.
I hope the memories you all made today will stay with you forever as a souvenir. And I hope it brings a smile to your face every time you think of it. With that, we come to the end of today's event. We would like to thank our principal, Sri Jyoti Ma'am, Vice Principal, Sindhu Ma'am, and Assistant Vice Principal, Indu Ma'am, for their constant support and guidance that has made this event a grand success. We would also like to thank all the teachers and non-teaching staff, without whose hard work and dedication, this event would not have been possible. Last but not the least, we thank all the parents and everyone present here for being such an amazing audience. We hope you enjoyed every minute. Thank you. A brown lady's purse has been found in one of the classrooms. The owner is requested to collect it from the office. I repeat, a brown lady's purse has been found in one of the classrooms. The owner is requested to collect it from the office. Thank you. School, attention. National anthem.